Now we'll look at index law of powers. So powers, indices. Have a look at this one here, guys. It has a to the power of x, the whole thing, to the power of y again. So we're using brackets. We're well, going to use a lot of brackets this time, so make sure you have good understanding of brackets. You can see that a to the power of x to the power of y. What we do is simply multiply these two numbers together. So we go a to the power of x times y. Okay, so the addition, so the index law of powers simply means you can multiply the powers together um, that's outside the brackets and inside the brackets. That's, what all you, that's all you need to remember in this section. Okay, easy? I think so. It's pretty easy. So, I'm trying to write this down somewhere and we're trying to use this into the next questions. So, 31, find x in 2 to the power of 5, the whole thing to the power of 4, if it's equal to 2 to the power of x. So, guys, just leave this side, I'm trying to do something with this side. Okay, so 2 to the power of 5 to the power of 4. Remember I told you we multiply the indices inside and outside the brackets together. So we'll multiply 5 and 4 together. So it's going to be 2 to the power of 5 times 4. Okay, and that's going to be 2 to the power of 20. Now this is equal to this. The base is the same, so therefore the indices must be the same. So x must be equal to 20. So x equals to 20 is the answer. Okay, so just using our law of powers. That's 31. 32. Find x in 16 cubed equals to 2 to the power of x. So again, I'm going to leave this side. Let's do something about this side. Now we can't, I don't know, for some people might say, well, what can, else can we do? There's nothing else we can apply. Well, what I'm going to do, I'll show you something smart. Don't worry about the cube for a moment. Let's just worry about 16. Now see how with indices, a very important thing that's useful for you to know is it's very good if you have the same base. Because if you have the same base, that means the indices must be the same as well. That's what I keep saying, isn't it? So I'm going to try to break down 16 into powers of two, into factors of two. So you know that 16, I think 16 is 2 to the power of 4. So I like to change that to 2 to the power of 4. So all I did was, see how 16 is here? I'm going to replace 16 with 2 to the power of 4. I'm just going to use brackets to separate it out with the cube. Okay? So now you've got something that you're used to. What do we do when we have something like this? What's the law of powers? We multiply the inside of the bracket with the outside of the bracket, the powers. So I'm going to multiply 4 and 3 together and put it on the power of 2, which is 2 to the power of 12. Does that make sense, guys? So if the, whenever the base is not the same, make it the same by breaking it down into its factors of that power, of that number. Okay, so 16 is 2 to the power of 4. That's the key thing here. So now this must be equal to this. The base is same because I made it the same, therefore the indices must be the same. So x is simply 12. Okay? So remember that technique, guys. That's very, very useful when you're learning indices. That's 32. 33. Now, I think I've said this in one of the earlier sections, one of the earlier sections, I think it's the previous section, one of the earlier questions. I said if there's brackets and there's a power outside, make sure you power it to everything inside the brackets. So see how this is 7 to the power of 1? Our law of powers tell us that whatever's inside that power, I have to multiply that power with the outside power. So you have to multiply 2 with 1 and you have to multiply 2 with 5 as well. So everything inside the brackets you must multiply them. So I'm going to have 7 to the power of 2 because 1 times 2 is 2 and x to the power of 5 times 2, okay, which is 49 x to the power of 10 because 7 squared is 49. So make sure you power 2 for the 7 as well. That's very, very important. That's a lot a lot of people tend to forget. Okay, so that's the answer. That's question 33. Question 34, okay, there's... 
two different expressions, doesn't really matter, it's easy because we can just treat them individually. So again guys, we're having brackets, make sure you power two to everything, so five and x to the power of six. So I'll have five squared times x to the power of six times two, we multiply these powers, don't we? Times two cubed, so you have to cube the two as well. And then you have to multiply these powers, so x to the power of four times three. Okay, so see how 2 has a power of 1 and 5 has a power of 1? So you can think of the same way. It's going to be 1 times 2, which goes there, and 1 times 3, which goes there. Okay, so basically we're applying the same rule. And then simplify it. 5 squared is 25, 6 times 2 is 12, 2 cubed is 8, 4 times 3 is 12. Now we just need to gather the like terms. So see how the numbers? We're multiplying, so we can just multiply them and put them out the front. So like that, 25 times 8 goes out the front. And see how here? They both have the same base of x. And we're multiplying, so what do we do when we're multiplying? We add the indices. So we're going to add 12 and 12 together, which becomes 25 times 8 is 200, and 12 plus 12 is 24. So that's how I simplify them in a step-by-step -step process. Okay, if you need guys, add in extra steps. It's always a good idea to use as many steps as you can to avoid your silly mistakes. Okay, so that's 34. 35, very similar. Let's do it the same way as we did with the previous question. Do it individually, but this time remember, it's divide. Okay, so we're going to do 4 cubed times x power of 3 times 3. We multiply the powers divide by 2 squared, and we multiply the indices here, 4 times 2. And simplify it, 4 cubed is 64, 3 times 3 is 9. 2 squared is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. And we're dividing, so we'll divide the numbers in front together, and then the other pronumerals together. So we'll have to go, but when we're dividing guys, what do we do with the powers? Subtract them, don't we? So we're going to go 64 divided by 4, we'll put that out the front, so the numbers always just go out the front together. And the x's, because they have the same base of x, and we're dividing, we'll subtract the indices. So we'll go 9 minus 8 on the power of x. And simplify, 64 divided by 4 is 16, 9 minus 8 is 1, so it's just x to the power of 1. But you don't have to write the 1 there, it's just x. Okay, so that's the answer. So now it's nice and simple. 36. Okay, I've got a fraction and we've got some brackets, but what I always like to do is see if I can simplify whatever's inside the bracket first. What I'm going to do is trying to simplify inside the bracket first. See how I have the same base, x? And when we have a fraction, we mean division. So we're dividing. So when we divide, we subtract the indices, don't we? So I'm going to go 11 minus 3 for the power of x, and now I've got rid of the fraction which is x to the power of 8. And then when we have brackets like this, we multiply. So we'll have x to the power of 8 times 4, which is 32, x to the power of 32. Okay, so we're trying to simplify whatever's inside the bracket first, if you can. 37, okay, a pretty massive fraction, but we're trying to keep it a step-by-step -step process. So I'm going to try to get rid of all this bracket first. So we'll leave everything else as it is, and we'll go 2 cubed, and then we go x to the power of 3 times 3. We multiply the powers together, and we simplify it by gathering the numbers together out the front. So 9 times 2 cubed is 8, and the 12 goes on the denominator, and then the um, pronumerals we keep. And I just simplified this, 3 times 3 is 9, okay? Now, 9 times 8 divided by 12, that should just be 6. You guys can simplify that. And see here, guys, we're multiplying, so we add the indices. So we go 13 plus 9. And we're dividing by x to the power 14, so we subtract the indice here. So it's going to be 14, subtract 14. And that's going to be 13 plus 9 minus 14 is 8, so the answer is 6x to the power of 8. Okay, so just a step-by-step -step process. Hopefully nothing's too difficult. Okay. 38, find x in, if 8 cubed to the power of 4 is 2 to the power of x, we have to find x. 
So leave the right hand side, let's fiddle around with my left. Now you can see that we, when we multiply the indices, sorry, when we have brackets, we multiply the indices. So I'm going to multiply 3 and 4 together. So it's going to be 8 to the power of 12. But we can't actually do much with these because they don't have the same base. So what did I say before? Make it the same base. So how do we make 8 as a base of 2? 2 to the power of what is 8? Think about it. 2 cubed is 8, guys. So I'm going to replace this 8 with 2 cubed. And just keep a bracket so I can um, divide the, I can separate the um, powers. Okay, so I replaced 8 with 2 cubed. And we've got another set of brackets. We can multiply these powers together. So like this. So 3 times 12 is 36. And you can see that this must be equal to this. And we have the same base, therefore the indices must also be the same. So therefore x is simply 36. That's the answer. Alright, so see how I broke down 8 as a base of 2? So because 8 is 2 cubed. So that's how we got the answer. Now 38, okay, evaluate 8 to the power of x. So I want to figure out what 8 to the power of x is. If, so they give you a property, they give you a condition, they say that 2 to the power of x is 5. Now see here the base is 2, but here the base is 8. What do you guys think we should do? Think about what we did in the previous question. Because the base is not 2, we can just make it 2. Because we know that 8 is 2 cubed. So replace 8 with 2 cubed. So it's going to be 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x. And when we have brackets, we can multiply these indices together. So it will be 2 to the power of 3 times x, which is 2 to the power of x times 3, same thing. So, I just switched around this just so I have x in the front, but it basically means the same thing. Now, when we're multiplying, when we multiply the powers, we can separate out into brackets, can't we? Like this. So see how, we see how this one? If we expand it out, we eventually multiply these together, making it x times 3, isn't it? But I just went the opposite direction. So I put in another set of brackets and separated out the x and 3. Okay? Just using our product rule. Product rule. And then you can see that 2 to the power of x is 5. So replace that with 5. So it's 5 cubed. What's 5 cubed? 125. And that's the answer. Okay, so see that smart thing that I did? So first of all, I try to break it down so I have the base of 2, so I used 8 equals to 2 cubed to make the base 2. And then we multiply the indices, so it's going to be 3 times x or x times 3. And then I separated out the x and the 3 by using my brackets because I only want 2 to the power of x left because I can, then I can use that condition. Okay, so I just replace that with 5, so 5 cubed is 125. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Alright, so that was the product law of indices.